Hey, back, finally. Um, been super busy, obviously. Uh, last uh, last time I think I, I posted anything, um, we were just kind of moving in, just finishing up. Um, face looks really red. Maybe it's the camera. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it is really hot out. We had like, uh, I think the scanners at work yesterday were saying like 35 degrees. That's really hot. Uh, in the sun, I think it's like, it's way hotter. If you had a thermometer out there, it's like 50 or something. Like, it's just insane. Uh, in the shade, it's like 33 or something. Yeah, just, just crazy. We live in a desert. <laughs> um, yeah, and the furnace is going because the AC is going. Yeah, so I kind of want to be nice and cool when I come inside. Um, anyways, enough uh, blabbering on here. I am going to work on building some lakes today. I've kind of mocked up some bench work. Kind of see here. Just um, using up, using essentially chunks from the old layout. Um, I really, really wanted to do the, uh, like I, I might have probably mentioned it before, I wanted to do like a display layout. Um, and I just, I, I'm not gonna do it. Like I just, especially not right now. I just, I wanted to get something up uh, and functioning and nothing crazy like literally nothing crazy it's not going to be like the last layout that i was working on was was kind of a huge undertaking grades and and stuff like that the scenery and mountains and and uh all that kind of stuff so basically it's just going to be flat just as, as just plywood throw some foam on it um put some road bed down just a single track going around the layout and uh with like a, a yard kind of right behind me here essentially be a point-to-point -point switching layout uh, I can't remember where to look sorry guys it's been a while <laughs> um, a point-to-point -point switching layout I'm gonna have ideally a small Y on either end of the layout um, but in behind kind of it'll loop around the furnace it's really hard to explain right now um, but just bear with me guys it's gonna loop around uh, kind of around the furnace here it'll cut across uh, right back here and kind of join up won't be technically part of the layout but it'll allow me to just come down here and just continuously run a train um, while I can do some switching uh, in the yard or I will have a passing siding uh, kind of back over top of my desk um, just to kind of get around and uh, to assist with uh, the switching uh, I'm only gonna run a single unit on my trains and probably 10 10 ish cars max with a caboose so be very basic switching layout i think um keeping a very simple small town um and then several industries like i was kind of planning on the old layout um elevators uh fuel um oil distribution kind of thing um probably a stockyard and uh maybe i can squeeze in a couple extras um but essentially I wanted to keep it simple just so I could get uh, into the detailing part of things and, um, and like lighting and all the trees and, and grass, static grass and stuff like that, um, doing roads, um, getting the buildings all built and um, weathered up and everything like that. So eh, is what it is. Um, this is going to be again designed to come apart very easy but I'm not going to uh, go so far as um, separating the track like I did before where there were sections that I could take out and um, I had actually put brass screws in and soldered the track to those. I'm not going to do that. There's just so much extra time. Um, this Code 100 that I've had, I've reused so many times. Uh, same with the road bed. A lot of it I've just reused so many times as much as I want to you know I've saved as much as I can um, whatever goes on to this now is just gonna stay on it I'm not ripping this up again so hence why I just want to get to the detailing um, side of things so anyways I'm gonna get some legs thrown together here because it is an absolute disaster still um, as you can see it's not very not very organized down here and I'd like to get some sort of organization going on um, all underneath the layouts so 
Um, I kind of started organizing some of my switches. I spent a lot of money a couple years ago on brand new Picos and uh, those will all get reused. So this camera is not the greatest. <laughs> so it is a little fuzzy. Um, before I start working on these legs for the layout, um, this is about how high it's going to be. It's give or take four feet. Uh, probably the top of the layout is about uh, four feet right ish, right about there. So um, that's just, I think, nice for me walking around. Uh, and it's two feet wide, won't be any wider. So it's going to be, you know, kind of space restricted uh, in here, but it allows me to reach over, no problem, grab switches or. Um, with the detailing and stuff, no problem, right? So, and even the kids too, they're, you know, they're tall enough that they can see just over top of it. Um, so I won't have to really worry about that. Uh, if I absolutely need to, I can get a little stool or whatever for them to stand on. Um, I would like to have like a little, actually I do have a little table. I could just stick down here, uh, throw some stools around it or something. And just nice to sit down and just, you know, watch the train go by. So, um, have, uh, have a beverage or two. <laughs> so, uh, I will show you um, one thing that has been keeping me busy, uh, whether you're interested in it or not, um, before I get these uh, legs worked on. So let's go check it out. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. So 93 Supra. Um, yeah, it's been keeping me busy. <laughs> Got the uh, fresh, well not fresh out of the body shop, but somebody backed into me in April. Uh, so I had a bunch of work done. The body shop, new headlights, lip, they fixed up the bumper, uh, quarter panels. Uh, also the side under the passenger door there, and the rear bumper too. Um, so, brand new set of coilovers, uh, the used set of T37s, uh, 18 by 10 and uh, HKS uh, high power uh, with an HKS mid pipe delete uh, I got the series 2 headlights uh, off insurance so I just got the series 2 tail lights in um, the hatch is black because uh, buddy I bought it off and smashed the window out accidentally uh, <laughs> so <clears throat> fixed up the rear bumper just trying to keep it running, keep it clean. Um, doesn't have a ton of power, it's non-turbo, but uh, we're getting there. <laughs> Just a blast to drive, handles pretty amazing, but I gotta do the bushings and stuff. And I like to do some uh, larger sway bars, front and rear. And, uh, new brakes are coming, I got some turbo, some of the turbo front brakes, the calipers are a four pot versus a two pot, and uh, way larger rotor in the front by probably about three quarters of an inch in diameter so we got way better way better braking so oh, I could just look at this thing all day <laughs> so anyways guys I'll uh, get back to trains here so um, I've done all that I can do today uh, it doesn't seem like I did much I just cut up a bunch of two by twos that I had bought the other day um, I was I I thought I was going to be a little more, um, uh, like intense with the, the leg building. Um, basically all I, I got accomplished today was just getting these, like the boxes that I have built for the bench work. I got those just up. So nothing like no, uh, bracing or anything on the legs, just literally screwed the legs right into the bench work, uh, just so that I could get it uh, off of everything that I kind of mocked it up on. I had like speakers under here and then the uh, the big plastic totes and stuff. So um, anyways, I'll show you guys quick and then I'll let you go. And um, slowly but surely, uh, I'll be getting work done down here. Um, try to keep it a steady flow uh, like I was, um, but with uh, um, work being the way it is, and uh, it's still nice and warm out um, driving the Supra and stuff like that. I've kind of been trying to get as much time in on the car stuff as I can before it gets too cold out. Uh, but <laughs> I know uh, I heard a couple guys were asking where I was and I'm still here. 
Uh, trust me, guys, I, I'm I'm slowly working on this HO stuff. Um, did have a couple of new things. Um, I just don't have them yet. Uh, they're sitting in the hobby shop right now. Um, so we'll get to those later, but I have bought stuff uh, for the layout, so it uh, should be good. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like and then I'll let you go. All right. Um, there you go. This wall here, this is about a 22, uh, 22 ish foot little little more than 22 feet um, wall to wall and then um, I've got this uh, this is a big eight foot chunk this was actually uh, my Bizano section uh, off the old layout um, I'm gonna put another uh, probably about six feet here um, and then this old section this is where my uh, my bridge was to go in front of the the doorway to the basement um, to the laundry room in the old place um, this I'm gonna try to reuse uh, in this little section here we'll have to move all this out of the way obviously but this will eventually join up with more layout uh, working my way around essentially the yard come out uh, around the corner here and then down we go hopefully this uh, hopefully this is making sense to you guys uh, there'll be another section coming across here basically right up to the uh, our makeshift closet come across this will be about eight feet and there'll be a two foot gap for the walkway and then don't mind my test loop here but this chunk this L chunk is going to come out right here and it'll join up uh, and this will be removable in here so I can walk through so yeah I think it's I think it's coming together it's just you know takes time this took way longer than I thought it was going to today so um, you can tell it's been a while it's it's not gonna be perfect um, and I got to figure out how I'm gonna organize everything underneath the layout but uh, it's gonna I think work for the time being I am gonna put stuff up on the walls here I don't want the cement so essentially where the 2x4 is here uh, be about that uh, you know two inches away from the wall I want to get like uh, two by twos or something up on the wall and then uh, kind of sheet it with like plywood or something just so I've got a, a barrier from the cement um, that way then I can actually put up somewhat of a of a backdrop probably just painted I'll try to reuse um, all my hardboard from the old layout uh, just to, to make it look sort of pretty and um, yeah I'll uh, figure out a track plan kind of as I go I, I have a a decent one I think in mind um, but I'm just gonna wing it <laughs> it's it's such a in my opinion such a small space to be working with so um, anything I put on paper I know from past experiences now is not gonna work so anyways guys um, that's all I got hopefully that uh, was enough for you until uh, next time take her easy